Does kombucha have caffeine? To answer this question, we first need to say, what are you, are you using to brew kombucha? If you're using Camellia sinensis tea, which is defined as from the Camellia sinensis plant, black tea, oolong tea, green tea, white tea, all of these things contain caffeine. Why? Because they come from a plant, Camellia sinensis, that contains caffeine. So if you're using a source that has caffeine, after the fermentation when you consume, it will still have caffeine. The amount, in theory, is less. How less really depends on certain factors of brewing, but you could say a good rule of thumb would be 50% less. So, what does that mean? Well, tea in general has about 50% less caffeine in terms of volume, not weight, right? So if you look at coffee, you need a lot of coffee to make a cup of coffee. You ever look at tea? You just need a little bit of tea to make a cup of tea. So. But in terms of those cups, right, there's in general more caffeine found in a cup of coffee than in a tea. Plus, tea has other things like teanine, which relaxes the body. I know it's hard to believe because I drink lots of tea and I'm still a little hyperactive. Um, so, um, you're looking at half of coffee and then half again because throughout the fermentation process, usually the um, amount of caffeine that you start with is half. If you are hypersensitive to caffeine, you can use alternatives, meaning rooibos is a great alternative to Camellia sinensis, honeybush, um, and you can use herbal blends. However, when you use herbal blend teas, things like chamomile, things like um, lemongrass, it is still good to add some Camellia sinensis tea, especially for newer brewers, to ensure that the nitrogen levels and the tannin levels are high enough, which then get converted to all the goodies found in kombucha. To get even more free kombucha videos to take your kombucha brewing to the next level, check out getkombucha.com backslash free.